Welcome to CBS Houston Online. I'm Anna Megan Braley. We're continuing our discussion on what to do after breakups. Here with me, I have the sex, love, intimacy, relationships expert, Mary Jo Rapini. Thanks so much for being here. And here's the topic of today. You break up. How soon after that do you begin dating again? And I like that question because it varies for so many people. It's a common, it's a very common question, but this is usually the rule of thumb. If you broke up with someone, the sooner you get involved with someone else, the more likely it is not going to work. Because when you break up with someone, usually your self-esteem is pretty low, you're a little bit fragile, and whatever attracted you to the person you were with is also going to attract yourself to someone new just like that. And that's why many times you'll hear women or men say they're all the same, all women are the same, or all men are the same, is because they had they went too quickly into another relationship. Now, one thing Anna and I were talking about is what happens if you begin dating a friend? Well, if you knew that friend, then that's not a new relationship. In fact, that friend may help restore your sense of self. And that friend knows you how, how strong you are at times, as well as how weak you are. So that's a little bit different situation. You may be able to get close to a friend after a breakup, but even that, I would take my time. I usually recommend, for sure, no sex for at least eight months after a breakup. It takes you that long to kind of cleanse yourself, uh, get ready for the next person. Eight months? Good luck to some of those uh, newly single people out there. There's toys. Wow. Yeah. I think that's for a later discussion. I'm looking forward <laughs> to that. Um, but before we get on to that discussion at a later date, what is your philosophy on a role of that rebound person? Some people need that to move on. I don't see anything wrong with it, except it moves quickly. You're attracting someone who, who you attract when you're feeling worse about yourself least about yourself and you're probably going to end up having sex with them so protect yourself sexually and make sure that you always take care of yourself drive to meet the person don't ever make, put your life in the hands of this other person because this person is not going to most likely have your best interest at heart and they may not be the best person to replace your previous um, significant other is there a mathematical formula or do you feel like eight months is a good waiting period for somebody that just got out of a 25-year marriage or a, you know, a five-year relationship or a six-month flee? Is there really it, all, it all depends on, it really all depends on the history of the relationship. A 25-year marriage, I, I would not have sex for, for at least probably over a year after because I, I would have such an incredible history that I would feel like I would make a terrible mistake choosing another person. If I dated some guy for six months to a year, yeah, eight months would be good. If it was in between, it just depends. Of so much of a breakup depends how much you let them in to your soul, your core, your essence. If you were not emotional available, if you always kind of kept a guard around you, then, then it wasn't that bad. But if you let them all the way in your inner self, better take your time and get them. Okay, newly single people, get your calendar out. Circle eight <laughs> months from today. Then you can start dating again. Mary Jo, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate your time. And thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more right here, CBS Houston Online.